Taking you right to the action in a full up Wayne's Web and getting started with Abigail Laura from Fort Recovery. She knocks down the strike here. Gets that last pin to fall. She would finish with a 519 over three games. Good for 30th. Now Van Wert senior Lori Decker in action and she's going to pick up the strike. She finished with a 601 tied for seventh overall in the state. Nice job to her. Now moving on to team play and Fort Loramie getting fired up and ready to go. And freshman Gianna Bulcher would get us started as she puts all 10 pens down. She would finish with a 491. This is qualifying round action this afternoon. Another freshman this time, Ashley Hess. She has all 10 pins running in fear. Nice job by the freshman for Fort Loramie. Then senior Danielle Wendelin. is gonna pick up the three pin spare. She would finish with a 438. Fort Loramie would finish 10th in the qualifying round. Now over to Napoleon with a strike from junior Jalen Rupel. She finished with a 572 in qualifying action. Now it's senior Abby Detmer picking up that stubborn 10 pin right there in the corner for the spare. Played two games, finishing with a 345. Lastly for Napoleon, senior Heather McMahon getting the strike, nailing a 563. Napoleon doing well, finishing fifth overall this season. Now to Coldwater and senior Allison Fox. She had a good day, picks up the strike. Individual runner up this season. She finished with a 665. Then more action from the Cavaliers, Riley Brown. She knocks down all 10 pens, coming away with the strike, finishing with a 584. Again, this is all qualifying round scores. Then junior Lily Shane here. She knocks down a strike as well, finishing with a 536. And then one more shot of Fox, all first Ohio. She knocks another 10 pens down as Coldwater emerges as your Division II girls state champions as they sweep Green on in the championship match. Napoleon finishing fifth. Congratulations to the Coldwater Cavaliers. Hope to have more on that next week here on the Sports Report.